hi guys so this is the continuation of CSS and comment box for jQuery so uh, without any further ado let's get started uh, I have opened my folder uh, in the sublime text and I will show you what we developed previously so let me open my index.html page in my browser okay so till now we have developed like this so this is just only the CSS part and now we will uh, in this video we will be going to show you how to dynamically change the content so this would be using JavaScript and jQuery <coughs> so in our index.html page uh, since we created the folder for JS which stands for JavaScript so there is a file known as script.js so here we will write javascript so i will create one array of object which i will say comment equal to to define array in javascript we use two square brackets and here we will define objects so to define an object we use curly brace like this so here i will put name as okay I will put time also say 10th April 2016 and the body tag where the comment will go <coughs> excuse me if I uh, my accent is going to be changed because I am feeling cold so that is why uh, so for body this is a comment one so you can copy and paste this and you can do it multiple times so I will just say copy paste doing it just multiple times one two three let's change the date to B one nine eight and this is comment two three and four so this is our array of objects okay. now in index.html I will remove all the repeated section except for one and I will place one div with a class of container and inside this I will paste here okay uh, now I will what I will do is I will put everything in one line because in JavaScript when you define it it should be in one line instead so everything should be there in one line we'll do everything okay So after everything is in one line, this div is actually related to container. Now I will cut this. Now what I will do, I will iterate over this object. So for where i is equal to zero, i is less than comment. <coughs> sorry about that dot length i plus plus after that I will define my HTML string here so I will paste that string 
here. <coughs> okay. Now, uh, because since I have used single uh, quotations here, as you can see that I have used single quotation, so in my string I will define as double quotes. Okay, and to get these properties from the object, what I will do is that image I am putting same name I have to change so I have to write comment of since it's an array right so you have to uh, address it using index so since I have iterating through each object so comment of i dot name because name is defined here like this it should be same and for date I will do similarly like this comment of i dot date I believe I called it as date sorry it should be date not time I am extremely sorry and I have to call body so these are the body right from where we define this text So I will delete, oops, I deleted something else. Let me correct that. Uh, this is disgusting and embarrassing also. Okay, so when I change this, I will put comment of i dot body okay so we have uh, changed uh, the content dynamically now through javascript okay now the last part is that i have to append this in a container right so what i can do is i have to select those element so to select it I am using jQuery so dollar since it's a class rather I will define ID <coughs> excuse me so uh, if I define ID to select it in jQuery I have to use hash container dot append your HTML variable now it will append text in an container which you defined here okay now I will save this file now make sure that when you are running this code you I already have a reference of script.js and jQuery this we defined in our previous tutorial so when I save this file and run this in my browser so as you can see that you can getting the dynamic data out of it right so this is how you uh, change the content dynamically through JavaScript uh, because you are defining uh, objects here in an array and then you are iterating over it then you have select, selected the container and you have appended the dynamic content through JavaScript variable. So one last part which I want to do is that I need spacing between uh, the comments right now it is not having any uh, proper space so to do the spacing I will go into CSS styles.css into my comment box I will write margin bottom as 10 pixel so if I save this if I run this 
Now you can see that there is a spacing between these two. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial. Now uh, after uh, this I will be going into advanced, more advanced kind of a thing. And uh, yeah, the, in this tutorial I want to demonstrate this only how to change the content dynamically through JavaScript. And now the best part is that now if I just add the objects more now if I save this if I run this now you can see that there is this is a comment 4 now when I now see this is the comment 5 6 <coughs> so no need to change the logic logic is happening automatically you have to just add the object now if you want to change the image dynamically okay then what you can do you can define the property in the object as image and here you can give the URL path of the image now in this way you can uh, do the same thing in the source tag you can uh, change the URL dynamically and then you will get the image different for different comment so this is how you handle it using JavaScript so that is for today's tutorial uh, keep in tune with the tech help uh, we would be posting more tutorials about this how to go more advanced uh, how to animate and how to make your website animated through jQuery thank you all guys for having uh, such time for listening these videos have a great day bye